What is up guys? I'm back. Um, today, <clears throat> I'm gonna start cleaning up. Sorry, it's kinda dark in here. I'm gonna start cleaning up this intake manifold I got from the junkyard. Um, I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but inside it's pretty dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that over to my parents' house and wash it out, see if I can get some of that gunk out of there. And then uh, I would love to throw it on my car sometime this week, not permanently because uh, when I put that on, I won't be able to run a hood anymore. And my car sits outside. I really don't want it to be raining on it with no hood. So um, I wanna throw it on there sometime this week maybe. Do a little comparison video of stock intake manifold versus the J35 intake manifold with a spacer. Um, just so you guys can see the difference it makes in torque and I think it's going to be quite noticeable. So I'll throw it on there sometime this week hopefully and then uh, just end up taking it right back off most likely. But it sucks but it's something, you know, I'm just trying to get some videos out here because that's what needs to happen. I've been slacking too much between videos so... Um, I hate having weeks between videos for you guys. I'd like to start doing them two times a week, maybe three times a week. So yeah, so for now, I'm going to take this on over to my parents' house and uh, take this cover off the top and hopefully get it all good and washed out. And then maybe tomorrow or the next day, I'll uh, end up throwing it on my car. And All right, guys, so I just got to my parents' house. And as promised, it is pretty nasty. So I want to try to get a lot of this gunk out of here, maybe off of this too. Hopefully clean it up at least a little bit before I throw it on my car. It's uh, got a lot of nasty stuff in there. So yeah, I'm going to get the hose out and start spraying it down and uh, see if we can get that out of there. Got my handy dandy table out. So yep, we're going to start working on that. So got it pretty cleaned up. I got all that gunk out of here. I got it out of the cover. <clears throat> so it looks a lot better now. Um, it's definitely not perfect. Still needs a lot of stuff. I've been trying to chip away at this gasket here that just will not come off so yeah other than that i'm just gonna keep on cleaning it up and then hopefully we'll have it ready to throw on my car sometime this week it's some water in here i'm gonna probably take the air gun and blow all that water out and then yeah so that's where we're at guys i'm gonna keep on chipping away here and then all right guys so today is the day i'm gonna take this intake manifold off and uh so the J35 went on there. Um, I forgot to check to make sure my throttle body is going to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull the throttle body off real quick and make sure it fits onto the other manifold. Just to be safe, so I don't have to take all this apart and then put it all back together and realize that it doesn't fit on there. So we're going to get the other manifold, bring it over here and see if to make sure that uh, that lines up. I'm glad I checked that because unfortunately it's not going to line up. <clears throat> I'm going to need to get a different intake manifold. I'm not exactly sure which one will line up. I'm going to have to do some research on that. Um, but I'm still going to throw the, the spacer on there. Um, just to see if it makes any sort of difference. I'm sure it will. Um, I believe it'll make give me a little bit more top end, which is exactly what I need. Uh, I still won't be able to run my hood with that, so I don't want to leave it on there um, for right now, just because I don't want my car to sit out here. It's going to rain soon, so I don't want to sit out here with no hood in the rain. So we we'll go ahead and get that thrown on real quick, and then we'll uh, take it for a little cruise, see if it makes any difference, and then. Yeah. Got it all taken off now so the next thing i gotta do is take these studs out so i gotta put longer ones in there for the spacer obviously because just the spacer sitting on there they're not gonna be able to clear through the intake manifold so i got the longer ones i took off of the uh odyssey so i'm gonna go ahead and throw those guys on there and then uh i'll have to use the same studs or the bolts i mean that came off of the odyssey as well so i have those in my uh, element and uh yeah so for now, I'm going to go ahead and take these studs out, and then uh, we'll get it sitting on there. So what I like to do to get these studs out, um, put the nuts on together, I'll, I'll that like that, get my socket on top, and I'll put a wrench in the bottom, and I'll tighten the nuts together, and then once they get super tight, you can just go ahead and take it out nice and easy. So I'm going to do this with both, put the new studs in, and then send her on her way. Alright, so here you can compare the uh, old stud with the new one, so you can see it's 
two inches longer roughly to make room for the spacer. So, yep, and throw this guy in there. Already got the first one in, so the other one in there and we'll get it back together. All right, so I got all the new bolts in, so it's tightened down. Now all I gotta do is hook up all my vacuum lines, put my throttle body back on, and we should be good to take it up the road here. You can see it makes way more clearance in here. You can actually take the valve covers off without having to take the intake manifold off with it, so that's pretty nice. That in itself is a good reason just to do it because it's kind of a pain to get these valve covers off if anything happens. So, yeah, see the spacer down in there. So we're gonna get it all thrown back together and we're gonna take it up the road and see what she does. All right, so she's all buttoned up, ready to go. All the vacuum lines are back on. A couple of these hoses are really struggling to reach that one. Ooh, it's got a little hole in it now, so that's not good. Let me get some new vacuum lines, but this one down here was also struggling to reach the throttle body. You can see that, so I had to just kind of move them off of their seats a little bit. Give it a little extra space for now, and then we'll figure something else out later. But yeah, so we're ready to go. So let's uh, take her for a cruise on the block and see what she does. All right, the hood's off. About to take it for a cruise now. My buddy Dylan's dad wants to go for a ride, so I got my suction cup mount. We're gonna try to get a little reaction video. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see if it starts up real quick because I haven't tried it yet with the new spacer, but here we go, first startup. See what she'll do. So the nitrous is hooked up and everything. Uh, it's not hooked up right now. The bottle's not even in here. So that's it. That's the button. Yeah, there's a switch under here to turn on, and then that button will control it. This six speed. Yeah. This be like second gear from 40 mile an hour. Sounds good for you. Yeah. Fucking. did great uh, it didn't seem like it had any issues with the uh, spacer in there definitely felt like it had a little bit more pull on the big end um, I think that's what having longer longer runners on the intake manifold will do it'll give you a little bit more top end um, so yeah it's definitely definitely an upgrade I would definitely recommend it um, not only for the, the power advantage it also gives you access to that lower to the uh, to the bolt on the, uh, the uh, valve cover so um, <clears throat> that's also a great thing but yeah so I got it all covered up now didn't feel like taking it back apart tonight because it's gonna rain so got it all covered up so yeah tomorrow or this weekend or sometime i'll probably take it back apart and put that piece back on it so yeah until next time guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time